I've foregone the actual build video and decided to go right into presenting this finished because it was just kind of like a side passion thing for me for a friend. This is a Marshall amp I bought when I just needed a practice amp. I really needed to play guitar and I, had, I didn't have access to any of my amps. I went to the shop and said, give me the cheapest amp you got. And this thing was 60 bucks, which is about the cost of a cheap computer case. Let's just flip it on. That's how it goes. It has RGB. This um, RGB sensor right there. And I'll walk through all the features when Max, the owner of this PC, comes in. Uh, Max has helped me out with Polytech a little bit. Uh, just helping me out in the shop when I need stuff moved. And he's a great guy and one of my best friends. And we're both guitar players, so this will be great for him for both gaming and music production. It's a flip-out motherboard tray. And uh, obviously ITX form factor. Intake is all through here with a 140 fan. Um, the knobs don't work, but everything else does. I made the input a reset switch. Power button still a power button. And the headphone and microphone jacks, which were uh, had different purposes on the amp, but on this they'll work for your blue and your red uh, inputs. This little uh, channel selector that was for the distortion is now the sensor for the RGB remote. We had it in something kind of like this with an i3 and a 1080, sorry, 1050 Ti, uh, third gen i3, eight gigs of DDR3, and for 1080 gaming, he loved it. Almost the same rig. It's in uh, third gen i5 this time. 16 gigs of RAM, a little more serious for music editing. And uh, the entire system is on a half terabyte SSD. I got into computers because of music, because I wanted a good music editing rig, because I saw computers were the future, and, and you could cut a lot of corners and do some really professional stuff all on your own using a computer. There's still a great, you know, things about analog and tape and all those things, but computers can play a role there too. And, uh, you know, being a slave to Mac for a few years and then learning how to build my own was really an eye-opener. When you're an artist or a musician, you don't have a lot of money usually, so building your own PC is actually a fantastic option. So today, I guess we'll get to show some of my side passion and Max's passion as well, which is guitar. This is my telly that has been through hell and back with me. Paid maybe 200 bucks for this because it came with this gnarly ding and I love it. And uh, I actually uh, went to school for a short while to learn how to repair guitars. So I did a ton of work on this guy. These strings are old. And, and you know, with the computers and all the other work, I haven't been playing guitar in like the last 10 years much at all. So that's all going to change um, right now. Yeah, it's a little out of tune, but hopefully I can get Max to jam. Maybe we can get some music, and I'll show you guys some of my sound equipment. This is a cool little mod I did. I put a bottle opener on this guitar. So, you know, you're on stage, someone passes you a beer, you can open it. Then you got some bottle caps to show you love there. All right. I got a little 59 humbucker. So for those of you who are guitar heads, this is a humbucker in the size of a single coil, which is kind of cool for a telly. You don't have to change the bridge or cut anything out and you still get a humbucker. And then you can leave that telly lipstick pick up in the neck, which just sounds phenomenal. I still like that, that stock. And it's a Mexican made Telecaster that I, I wouldn't give up for anything. This has been with me a long time. So eventually Max is going to get here and we'll see how he likes it. He was like calling my phone all day. Now he's not. So we can't have it without a video. Oh. Oh, blemish. I like to use a little simple green on my products. You know why I use simple green? Because it's less uh, harsh. You know, with the computer parts, you don't want to take off finish or paint or anything. You want to go nice and easy. So right here I see a little blemish. You know, this was a old cruddy amp. Oh, and one thing I should point out. So that paint job on the front of the panel is basically because this panel was really scratched up and, and dirty and has some caked on dust. So when I tried to scrub it, um, and it's my fault because I didn't use the simple green. I should have used the simple green. It's all my fault. I used some, uh, some of that goo off you see up there. And well, what did the goo do? It actually took off the words like volume and it took off some stuff here and it actually took off the lettering. 
So then I was like, all right, let's make it like a cool, like vintage, like artifact, you know, I don't know. I think it's cool. I think it's cool looking. Cause it, if I didn't do that, it really would have looked stupid with just like the scratches and the missing letters. It didn't look like purposely vintage. Now it has like a cool, like metallic hippie trippy kind of thing going on. Oh my God, is that Maxwell? He's here. Please come on down. Just step under the cord. Doing it live? You come in in the middle of a shot of me explaining it, so it's perfect. Fuck it, we'll do it live. <laughs> Just dip under here and go check out your computer. Oh my gosh. The power button's the bigger one. Look at that. God damn, that is so cool. You like it? We both shaved at the same time. We did. That's interesting. That is so fucking cool, man. Dude, I'm glad. I'm really glad you like it. I was talking a little bit about, you know, how guitar is a real passion for both of us. Oh, wow, it looks so cool in the back. And you went with the latch. There's a latch and everything. Yeah, so now that you're here, I'll actually open it up. Look at that. That is so freaking cool. So let me just uh, turn this guy off for, <laughs> for opening it. You can take out the power cord if you have to, Word. but it's a little tricky. So I would just recommend doing like you would with a prat, you know, when you have a practice amp. And you just put the cord like that. That's so cool. So that way you don't actually have to reach back in there and get it. That was just the best spot for it for ventilation. So anytime you want to open it up, you just remove it yeah. too. I mean, keep in mind, viewers, too, this is like a budget build. Like this is around like you know, three, four hundred total in parts. That's awesome. Um, and Max had actually he had already bought the graphics card from me and was using it in a little that's a little annoying that it does that when you unscrew it, because you know, <laughs> wood. But uh oh, you see wow. how I did it here. Um, it looks like a mess, but everything's zip tied in that way so that when you close it, it's, it goes kind of in a direction where it's not hitting anything. That's excellent. Um, to really work on it, you would have to unplug stuff to open it all the way. See the graphics cards on a bolt here, kind of the way it would be on a test bench, like mm -hmm. on a long screw. And for a card this light, like that's really plenty. Um, I cut out, yeah, rotate it this way a little. you see, I cut out a little yeah. notch here and I cut out this whole side so that this could. That is there. really cool. That's an RGB <laughs> fan in there, right? That is a really... Dude, I sprung for a three-pack because I was like, it's a better price and I'll use the other two. It looks stronger than the fan that we were going to use. It's a 140, not a 120, remember? Right, it's that right. middle size. Yeah. Yeah, so that's a really good size for a PC this size. And you can see we also have on the CPU a cryo rig cooler that Max was using for a while with the... Uh, like I said, you know, you had this motherboard, this cooler... Uh, this graphics card, it was a i3 instead of an i5 and he had a smaller SSD. So this is just a really nice upgrade. Down there you have a, you now have a 16 gig DDR3 kit. So that's double what you had. And, uh, Look at me. Yeah, there's two screws and a hinge. That is excellent work, Oliver. Dude, I really appreciate that. Very far out. I hope you enjoy it. I'm sure I will. Come on! Oh, the batteries! There we go.